to use. Okay, so that's done. Let's switch to our rifle. Because we're going to make our way back up to the church. Oh yeah, going to check the treasure map. And we'll encounter more of those dogs, actually. Um, so there's not any more treasures until there. Which is funny, because that's where the road splits off. And we're going to make our way back to the church. Nothing there. Um, I actually don't think there's anybody on the path. Right now. There might be. Uh, let's hope not. Huh. There's actually a different lake of some sort. That's interesting. Okay. I'm just like mentally preparing myself to take on this next part. Is there is a dog. Filming at the mouth. Oh, he got up. That's usually a one hit kill. do it again for one of the dogs around the corner. Because they just suck. Yep, there he is. There's actually two. Okay, and here comes the other one. takes care of that and then luckily they didn't spawn their nasty little wormies I don't think there's anybody down here because you're just supposed to go straight to the church yeah there's no one there all right that one open maybe there's a round hole that'll fit this it's not what happened but I mean. you use the round insignia Alrighty then. Looks like I'm gonna take some of the church donations for myself. It's actually kind of sad. The I've watched a a, a playthrough of this and uh, the end credits are just really sad. The insignia is everywhere. I wonder if it's from religion from a religion from this region. Just because um, it shows how everything was before. This cult invaded, basically. Like, it showed how... How people just lived normal lives, and it actually looked really peaceful. <laughs> and I saw it, I was... I honestly got really sad. I was like, man, it sucks. Alright. Actually, there's gotta be around here somewhere. There's gotta be a way to open this. Let's take a little ride on the chandelier. There we go. Can I check that? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Some stuff over here. Cendiary grenade. That'll become useful. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, another little Resident Evil puzzle dealing with colors and pictures. Sorry, I'm not shot. Go ahead. Do the red ones. Okay. Green one. Let's shift that one this way. Like that, I think. Yeah, and then we'll do the blue one. I think the blue one is just, just like that. Yep. Yep. Well, we hired Steve here to be the engineer for keeping the prisoner in check, and he thought we'd go with, like, a little uh, color-coordinated lock system. Yeah, man, whatever. As long as it locks the gates and it's kind of hard to get through. Oh, don't worry. He just... Steve just loves colors. It's like, all right, can you please install this for us? That's my hypothetical for this situation right here. Anyways, we're about to meet the lovely Ashley. Ashley. Don't come! Oh. Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Aww. 
Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Wow, she's really trusting, too. Once a girl, another uh, female subject to jiggle physics and video games. I, in extricating my subject. I don't mind. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Mostly because I don't care what people put in video games. It's whatever they want. It's their art. Whether or not people like it, they just have to put up with that. Anyways, it's telling you how what happens now that Ashley's a part of your team. And that you can use herbs on her. The thing is, I was going to say... Whenever you first play Resident Evil, things are like low poly. And so you don't really notice stuff as much. Unless the animators put stuff in the detail. But now that I think about it, her eye, her, her whole face is a little weird. Because they gave her like anime eyes on on her and they're just... It doesn't look good. Oh, sorry. Uh, it looks weird. <laughs> it's like part of that Uncanny Valley crap. And like, it looks too realistic and too fake at the same time. I, I don't know. I'm just talking now. Mm, let's not worry about combining those green herbs just yet. We might need them here in a little bit. Right. Oh crap, why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? So, ho ho. I'm gonna do this. Does it work? Oh. Sometimes we try to look up her skirt. She's like, oh, you pervert. I just wanted to get that little thing out, but she didn't react to it. I think because you have to use a scope. <laughs> I'll take the girl. <gasps> Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power. And then send her back. No. <gasps> they injected her too. Oh, that guy looks creepy. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. I think they gave me tacos too. What did you do where did what where did you get the meat for those tacos? That chandelier is freaking out. When she returns home to her loving father. Oh, it looked like he didn't have any teeth. I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. <laughs> oh, oh I, truly hope I forgot I had your tacos too. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. But involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. gratuitous upskirt by the developers there. What's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. She's like, don't touch me. It's actually gonna be pretty fun. Uh, not the escorting her back through what we've already been through part. The uh, actual uh, being holed up in that little housing area part. I think it's a fun area. More handgun ammo. You know, you think... <laughs> we all would be like, you might be a little bit of a liability. You should probably learn how to use this, you know? 
And being the president's daughter, I have no idea how the president's family operates in real life. But you would think that they would put their daughters through some kind of self-defense training. Also, so uh, one Easter egg we will go look at is going back through there. But right now, we're going to take on these villagers that have uh, come to greet us, so to say. <laughs> For some reason, it's just a barrel of explosives. You got it, sister. <laughs> Poor guy. I think that's all, actually. I might be wrong. There might be some more people. Okay, I'm just going to combine it with what I have. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yes, that's fine. I can spare to leave at least one left. I don't think there's anyone left. Uh, running out of space. I don't have any space. Just leave it there. I think the music just stays the same. Whether or not there's enemies. Anyways. Here's a little fun easter egg. Those crossbow guys. They're here. So I'm going to use a, this on one of them to set him ablaze. Oh crap, he's still alive. So that little spinning animation that he did when he fell, that uh, lets me know that he's dead. Lord Sadler. Lord, too bad you didn't pick a different cult. <laughs> so anyways, uh, 5,000 beat this. Not bad for uh, taking out two harder enemies. Because uh, they will appear later on in the game. You'll see way more of them and different types of them. Just gonna keep foraging for ammo and money. All very useful stuff. Okay. Okay, okay. We're gonna go through here. Ashley, don't worry. There's no dead bodies in here. At least, not yet. Ah, oh, just kidding. That's a little joke we like to say to each other. Dealing with zombies. Oh, they're not really zombies. Alright, let's see what we can get. Um, oh yeah, he is... Excuse me, a new gun, actually. <gasps> is that old stranger? Is that old... Is that old... Is that old... I have the worst time trying to sell those. Um, green herb. Uh, don't need any more. Well, I mean, I'm going to need it. But anyways, he has a new gun. The Red Nine. It's actually really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell my handgun. And I'm going to buy that. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to make room. There we go. So that nearly fills up my whole entire entire thing. Um, I'll buy the stock for it later. Maybe once I use a lot of items. I think I'm going to use a lot of flash grenades here in a little bit. Yeah, there's a stock. How much space does it take? It takes three spaces up. Yeah, I can't fit it anywhere. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about buying that. Now I'm going to tune it out. Is that all hit? Is that all hit? 